10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. 50 years ago, Apollo 11 blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, traveled 240,000 miles, and touched down on the moon on July 24th, 1969. And we got this iconic moment. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin lifted off from the dusty moon surface, they planted the United States flag. Got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. And every Apollo mission following Apollo 11 planted an American flag at the landing site, except Apollo 13. And we're all familiar with what happened there. Say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. What exactly has happened to the flags in the past 50 years? Are they still standing in full color as Hollywood would have us believe? Or have they been ravaged by the inhospitable environment of space? We spoke to someone who can answer those questions. My name is Mark Robinson, and I'm a professor at Arizona State University in the School of Earth and Space Exploration. I'm the principal investigator of the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter camera. It's been in orbit around the moon for 10 years now. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter was launched in 2009. Since then, it's taken thousands of photos of the moon's surface, including photos of the Apollo landing sites. It also has a Twitter account. Yeah, well, but one of the advantages of being in orbit for so long is that we fly over each landing site uh, once a month, and so over time we accumulate images, a time series of images. And every time we fly over a landing site, though, the lighting is different. So given enough time, uh, we were able to compile a time series from dawn to dusk. But what was really totally awesome about that series of pictures when we put it together into a movie is you could actually see the shadow of the flag circling around the flagpole. You did not see the shadow of the flag at Apollo 11, but that was not a real surprise because uh, Buzz Aldrin had mentioned that he thought he saw the flag blow over when they blasted off from the surface. NASA spent hundreds of thousands of man hours to make the moon landings possible and they seemingly thought of everything. And that's what makes this next detail so interesting. It was a last minute idea. Uh, I guess there was so much thought and energy went into uh, developing the hardware and the suits and what they were gonna do on the surface is a lot of thought was not given to planting a flag. The, the, the NASA folks were so focused on mission success to land and stay on the moon and return safely to the Earth, that that lab was not required to do that. And there was someone at NASA headquarters at the last minute said, oh, well, we should bring a flag. The engineers in their uh, perfect engineering way said, okay, put someone down the store, got it. So the flags are just ordinary flags that anybody could have gone and bought somewhere at a store at the time. So we know the flags are still there, but what condition are they in? It's hard to say because they're so small and so far away. Even the Hubble telescope can't see the actual flags. But Mark has a theory. Well, well if we went to the moon today, I think they would be extremely faded. Maybe even a little bit starting to fall apart. And that's just due to the intense UV environment on the moon. You know, flags, as anybody who lives in Phoenix knows and flies a flag, they fade rather rapidly, uh, that effect would be greatly magnified on the moon because the moon has no atmosphere. So I think they would be worse for the wear. Landing on the moon was seen as not only an achievement for the United States, but as Neil Armstrong so eloquently put it, and with renewed interest in space exploration, who knows? Maybe the United States will plant a flag on the red planet next. The directive I'm signing today will refocus America's space program on human exploration and discovery. 
It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972 for long-term ex exploration and use. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond.